Hello from CST. We want to give you a short update on our activities and products relevant to coronavirus research. I'm going to bring in our Chief Scientific Officer, Roby Polakowicz. Roby, thanks for joining us. Uh, what can you share with us about how CST products and antibody validation support global researchers studying COVID-19 and the SARS-CoV-2 virus? We have dedicated a lot of effort uh, to building a lot of tools for studying the virus itself. So we're building, again, proteins and antibodies to different pieces of the virus that could be very important for uh, understanding the biology of the virus, for testing it, tools that could be used or incorporated into diagnostic tests, uh, 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 serological tests or viral tests or some other uh, type of assays that will be very useful to understand the virus, to uh, uh, help diagnose presence or not, and also to uh, aid in the process of new therapies and vaccine development particularly. So we're very, very heavily involved. So um, our customers and, and uh, people in general should be seeing in the next uh, coming weeks and months a lot of uh, new products uh, in that portfolio. So it's, it's, it's very exciting and we are trying to as much as possible contribute to the fight against this epidemic uh, and pandemic uh, with the things that we know how to do. And, and just to finish answering your question, Ken, is, is uh, all of this we're doing, uh, uh, remaining very faithful to what CST has been, which is top quality. So we are the, known for the highest quality reputation in the marketplace. And I think this is particularly important now because Again, there is such a big rush to help and to do things. Uh, there could be a lot of tools, and we already unfortunately heard that many, many diagnostic kits are not working. So th there could be a lot of things that in, in, in the speed to, to, to get to market and speed to help, um, perhaps the quality is not ideal or is not the best. So we will not do that. We will uh, perhaps be a bit slower, but we will make sure that everything that we put out uh, for uh, researchers and clinicians and uh, and uh, general scientists to use will be of the top possible quality. Um, so that will be our commitment and our, our contribution. So at a high level, what are some of the most important focus areas for researchers studying COVID-19? And what kind of questions need to be answered in order to better understand the host immune response? So there are so many questions. So uh, the virus is a very uh, interesting virus and it poses many different questions and challenges and, and sometimes paradoxes. So there is uh, there are questions about how the virus gets into the cell. We know the receptor, it's ACE2. Uh, um, and, and, and we know a little bit of how it does, how it replicates, but there is a lot of mechanistic information that is still not known. And that mechanistic information will help develop perhaps therapeutics. Uh, drugs that inhibit the replication of the virus or, or drugs that inhibit the entrance of the virus to the cell. So that's one aspect of it. Then the virus, once it, it gets in, the cell has intrinsic mechanisms to try to get rid of it, to detect it, to alert the immune system. So there are signaling pathways that participate in that uh, and people will be very in, interested in, in finding out what happens, how the virus works, how the virus uh, manages to evade those mechanisms. Uh, and now the immune response, the host immune response comes to play. Uh, so understanding how the immune system is or not being able to cope with the virus, or we are hearing, for instance, about uh, uh, phenomena like cytokine storm or cytokine release syndrome, which is actually making the disease worse. And there's plenty of evidence in, in the literature now that it's happening in the clinic and doctors are finding ways of of uh, working around that and helping patients uh, and alleviate those symptoms. Uh, so those, again, this is a, a, a perhaps an overdrive or exaggerated immune host response against the virus, understanding how that works, why certain people uh, develop that and others do not. Those are key questions that are going to be studied for years to come. So, and you need the right tools to do it. And, and that's what we will we'll be playing. Can you tell us a little bit about why the validation of antibodies in reagents is especially important for COVID-19 related research? The speed to, to get data, the speed to publish, the speed to commercialize sometimes leads to bad behavior or bad 
but but uh, tools poor quality reagents, and we think that's a problem. And it's a it's a it's as much a problem or even bigger problem now, where really good answers and good solution and good solid experimental work is necessary to be able to get get us to a vaccine, get us to a therapeutic that can help uh, fight this disease. So. It is as important as ever that to that research use very well validated tools, uh, because again, then they don't have to go and repeat something. There's no waste of time, no waste of money. Uh, so uh, that's very, very important. Much more important than ever, I would say. In uh, Roby, how would you say that uh, CST's overall um, scientific mission aligns with the global effort, um, you know, to fight this pandemic? We are here to enable scientists uh, uh, advanced research, particularly biomedical research, and enable scientists find uh, new treatments and new cures for diseases that affect human society. So it couldn't be a more evident today or more important uh, with the current pandemic. So obviously we spend a lot of effort in in uh, studying ourselves and in developing products for cancer, for instance, uh, uh, also in developing products for other metabolic diseases, you know, neurodegenerative diseases, uh, uh, inflammatory diseases, which uh, this this virus creates to a degree a kind of inflammatory disease in the most in extreme cases. So. Uh, this fits right into our mission. So the, what, what the scientific community and the biomedical community need, where, uh, where these are academic labs, biotech companies rushing to develop new vaccines, pharma companies, again, rushing to develop new vaccines uh, and to put them in clinical trials. What they develop is the highest quality tools, uh, the highest possible quality tools uh, to make sure that they, they, the research goes forward and and without a uh, hindrance, right? That they don't really spend time on bad reagents or bad, bad, bad experiments that then set them back, particularly in a time of, of like this, of such an urgency to really find a solution to this pandemic and getting all, all, all of us back to a normal life and, and back to work.